Hey, hey, hello. Welcome to the show. Let's get into this. You ever want to do something and then you made the decision not to do it and then you regret it later down the line, especially since you know you'll never be able to do it again like that moment was right there for you? Well, I've had that moment without giving all my personal business. There was a person that worked my nerves so bad to my bone, to my core. And this person was in front of me, fucking with me, picking and poking, and would not stop. Normally, I would back down and I would say, you know what, I'm going to be the bigger person. Let me go and you do you, I'm going to do me. But that particular day, that evening, it was... It was like an Indian summer because I remember it was like either either February or like a March. But it was an Indian summer so it was warm outside. I could still like taste the soda I had just drunk. I don't drink soda anymore but at the time I had, had the soda and, and they came over talking shit. And they were saying crazy shit to me and something in my mind said, you know what? This is the moment to nip this shit in the bud because this moment will never come around again and you're going to regret not checking the motherfucker when you had the opportunity and when I tell you I lunged at this person like a spider monkey in the middle of the of the, the Amazon rainforest you hear me I it I felt like Wolverine when he about to whoop your ass and them claws say shing I said shing I had like a super Super Saiyan, just like it just I just transformed. I had an out of a out of body experience, y'all. And to this day, that was the best choice I've made. The way I whooped this person's ass. Okay, you know they got they got a couple hits off, but no 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 baby. I whooped their ass. Do you hear me? I was I fit I was beating ass so hard that not only did I bite my lip, that's how I was crunching. Because I was like, Ugh! like I, I didn't feel shit. Like adrenaline. Just like the song says, adrenaline in my soul. Adrenaline was in my motherfucking toes. You hear me? I felt like whoever is the strongest character in Dragon Ball Z, whoever is the, is the, is the, is the I felt like the Red Hulk. Like I just the shit lasted probably about a good five minutes, y'all. But it felt like an eternity. And that person was asking me to stop. Don't do that. Don't do that. Stop. Stop. I said, hell no, nah, motherfucker. Because you think I'm a joke. You think I'm a chump? I ain't from here. I'm from New York City. I'm from the South Bronx. Raised in Harlem. Raised in the Bronx. I'm about to show you what a New Yorker is like. Especially an ignorant one, too. I'm from Mad Hood and Ghetto. Whole project, baby. You don't push me to this motherfucking edge. With all that being said, Bret Hart said one of the best things that he has ever done was punch Vince McMahon after the Mont Montreal screw job. Okay? Bret Hart said Vince was calling my bluff. He was going to confront me and he wanted me to back down and take the high road. It was a gamble that he made. And then he thought he was going to try to get get into a little altercation with me. And he wanted it to be like a pull apart and everybody pulls us apart. And then he can sort of act like he stood his ground against me. In those fleeting seconds of having to think about this, like, I can't believe Vince McMahon's actually is confronting me. I didn't charge him or anything. We actually walked up to each other. And locked up like a wrestling match. And then I knocked him out with one punch. And it was the greatest punch I ever threw. Absolutely beautiful uppercut between the arms. And I lifted him about a foot off the ground. Broke my hand. But it was the sweetest punch I ever threw. And I wouldn't change it for a thing. Let me tell you something. If I'm going to say this. I don't condone violence. Because now, you know, I'm a mother. Um, I am a clinical therapist and everything. But let me tell y'all something. If there is somebody who is working your fucking nerves and making and trying to chump you out or sun you or like Brett said, call your bluff, 
it's going to come a time when you ain't got but two, three seconds to make the decision you want to make. Literally, time slows down. And it's like, and all you know is, I'm about to punch the fuck out of this person. And most of the time when I grew up and the people I grew around with, like I told you, I grew up in the ghetto. I grew up in the hood. I'm a whole project baby. Like, it is what it is. I try my best not to crash out, but I am completely capable of doing damage. People want to always overstep. Habitual line steppers are always the ones that will get you out your your square. But if it comes a time where you know I got to rock this motherfucker's jaw and give him a two-piece in the biscuit, I say take that opportunity because had Bret Hart not punched Vic Man, Miss Vince McMahon in his mouth, who's to say that Vince McMahon wouldn't be walking around like how he walked like, yeah, I got that bitch. He knew it because I'm the man. I remember that clip because Vince McMahon, this, that was in the clip where um, Bret Hart's wife also put a hex on Triple H. Um, Vince McMahon came out the back and his eye was all, you could literally see it was pooling blood right up under the eye. He was like all lethargic and kind of, you know, walking side to side because Bret Hart knocked the cold cock that man. And then he did an interview with a big old black eye. And I know for all of the things Bret Hart talks about, even if it's Eric Bischoff, even if it's Goldberg, even if it's Hulk Hogan, even if it's Shawn Michael, I bet... If Bret Hart had the opportunity to punch Vince McMahon or forgive Goldberg, he probably would punch Vince McMahon again. Okay? If they would say, listen, in order to redeem yourself, you have to, you know, apologize. Absolutely not. Bret Hart can go down in history as the only superstar... And I'm just guessing. I'm sure there's other superstars, but this one is very public. That decked Vince McMahon and told that motherfucker, you are not going to disrespect me. You disrespect me once, you won't do it again. Especially when Bret Hart spit on Vince McMahon. That spit was the biggest fucking loogie ever. Just thinking about it. It was so gross. But I just wanted to stop and applaud Bret Hart. Because I actually know what it's like. I actually know what it's like to do something that you know a lot of people would say, couldn't be me. Well, if that was me, well, baby, it was me. It was me. And it was the best fight that I've ever been in. Because not only did I get the upper hand, I won that motherfucker. And that person never bothered me again. And if we ever come across each other again, I guarantee you, they going to think twice about whatever it is they're going to say to me. Because it ain't going to be no question. Except, I'm sorry, what did you say? And if a motherfucker double down, you already know what type of time they on. So I'm going to leave it right here. And y'all tell me what y'all think. Is there a time that you would like to go back and do the thing that you regret you didn't do? If you made it this far, answer the question. All right, catch you later.